Alright, what is up guys? Loser Manic here, and uh, welcome to a video where I kind of want to do this like small uh, series type thing where I give you guys people who are new to Fallout 4 because I follow the FO4 or Fallout 4 subreddit a lot. And I see that there are a lot of people getting into the game for the first time. Now, um, I don't know how true that is, but, um, but that kind of shows that there are a lot of new people joining the game. So, throughout the series, um, maybe if I want to make it a thing, probably, I might. I'm not sure, but, um, th throughout these videos, I will give you guys a bit of advice on how to use certain, um, stuff. Now, this isn't me going over, like, stuff you should know, like how perks work, um, or, or certain stuff, where to find weapons and all that, because you can easily find those on the wiki or online. But, these are going to be like standard stuff to help you kind of understand what, uh, or how the... Just to help you get familiarized with the game. I have no idea where I was going with that, so I'm I'm sorry. So um yeah, let me try to fix my hair in the process. So the first thing I want to talk about, and it is something that is kind of minuscule, but is pretty good to do. And I'll kind of explain why. But it's what I call Frankensteining. Um some of you guys may know what I'm talking about, some of you guys may have different names for it, um, but I call it Frankensteining. And it's basically where, throughout your adventures, you find a weapon that has a modification you want, so you take it off of that mo so you take it off of that gun and then put it on to your current gun. It may sound, it may sound confusing, so let me give you an example. The combat rifle is by far the most BS gun ever in terms of modifications. You want to modify it, you're stuck to like, if you want to modify it to the best possible, you're going to have to wait until you're like close to level 30, so that way you can um, get gun nut 3 to even try anything. Now, you can get modifications, but the gun just ends up looking weird. I'd rather have... I'd rather my guns look good than weird. Um, and the combat rifle can actually look pretty weird. Um, so yeah, so along the journeys that you do, so let's say you're using Overseer's Guardian, alright? Now, Overseer's Guardian is one of the best combat rifles, alright? Now, th there is standard modifications, alright? But let's say for this purpose, it is just a short combat rifle that ended up being an Overseer's Guardian, alright? Now, you want to make it look nice, you know? You want to make it look good. To my knowledge, the Overseer's Guardian uses a scope, um, a short barrel, um, and I think a long stock. Not a marksman stock or whatever. Um, and I think a long magazine. So, it's not too bad. Um, it's, this is especially good if you want to, if you're playing a sniper character. Um... But, let's say you want to make it better, and you want to add a marksman stock to it. Well, there's there's your problem. Um, if you don't have gun nut at all, then you probably won't get the modern, the <clears throat> marksman combat rifle. Nita, sorry, that I, I messed up there, so I used that as a way to fix myself. Um, sorry, if you don't like fart noises, that was bad. Um, so yeah, so, um... And it works pretty well. The only problem with this is that marksman stocks are barely anywhere to be found. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, so so let's say you destroy a group of raiders, one of which happened to have a combat rifle with a marksman stock. You can then take that weapon, um, add the short stock to that weapon. Which means you now have the marksman stock mod, and then you can then add it to Overseer's Guardian. It is really good, but there is a slight problem with this. Which is that even though you don't need gun nut, it is still best to get gun nut anyways. Here's why. A lot of the time, some of these modifications won't appear throughout the whole game. 
There have been times I have been looking for a modification and it either didn't show up at all or there was like one gun that had it. So, and that's out of the thousands I have come across. Um, granted, a lot of these combat rifles are standard short combat rifles for some goddamn reason, but it is one of those that can pass you off pretty quickly. Recently, I, um, I'm, or I think yesterday I started, um, I got the anti-material rifle for my sniper character. I started this, uh, and I... The reason I am doing these sorts of videos, by the way, um, is because I restarted playing Fallout 4, um, and so I'm, it's kind of like I'm revisiting the game. I had to fix some stuff, so here we are. So that's why I'm doing these sorts of videos. Um, but I recently, um, did a sniper, I'm doing a sniper character right now, even though my favorite character is the assassin, but I, I still have no one up. Um, I had to... Um, I'll talk about, I'll talk more about my experiences at the end of the video. So, um, so with the anti-material rifle creation club, um, to take effect of Fudge Muppet's sniper character, which uses Mr. Sandman and Ninja, I needed a suppressor. But at that time, I didn't have proper needs of a suppressor. I didn't have any proper means of getting a suppressor. I still don't, now that I think about it. Um... The anti-material rifle and the hunting rifle share the same stuff, so you need like gun nut three to add a suppressor to it. Um, so yeah, um, so with that, um, so as I got the anti-material rifle, I remembered that I can Frankenstein a suppressor onto it with gun nut two. Now you don't need gun nuts to. Frankenstein or add modifications that require gun nut four if you if you have the modifications in fact you could probably if you get lucky you could probably manage to modify your guns to the max just by simply using no gun nuts and Frankensteining probably I'm not sure um may, probably not to the best but you can make you can you could add some punch to those weapons if you so want to um so yeah so with um so w anyway so as i got the anti-material rifle um i remembered that some that some uh vendors sell anti-material rifles with a suppressor on it i didn't know which one i checked arturo and i checked cleo and then as a less resort i checked daisy up in good neighbor um, almost at Good Springs, up in Good Neighbor, um, and she had it. She had the Hunter's Anti-Material Rifle, which does 30% more damage to Mirelooks and Bugs. Or I think Bugs, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's, no, it's Animals. Um, Exterminator is Mirelooks and Bugs. Never mind. Um, so yeah, so the Hunter's Anti-Material Rifle had a suppressor. So all I did was I took the Hunter's Anti-Material Rifle, um, Added a no muzzle mod to that, so I mean now I have the anti-material rifle suppressor mod, um, and then I put that suppressor onto my penetrating anti-material rifle gun, and that is my main gun that I have used since I started. Well, not since I started, but um, since I got the whole thing. Um, so yeah, if you want my advice, um. Don't rely heavily on Frankenstein, but just every now on on Frankensteining, because once you reach like uh, max gun nut, then maybe you then you can surpass up until maybe Nuka World, unless you reach level fifty, because Nuka World has those dumbass restrictions of you need Rifleman five to get max whatever you know. So if you want my advice. Um, every now and then, kind of keep an eye out for weapons that have modifications that you may or not may or may not be looking for. Um, kind of kind of keep note as to what modifications you're looking for. Some stuff that would help. Um, but do not rely on this um, strategy. It is not going to bode well for you. Um, you may you may want like. If you're doing a sniper character, you may want a ported barrel, which is something that's actually pretty good. Um, 
a ported long barrel for the hunting rifle for a sniper. Um, it it improves um, sighted or aimed accuracy, aiming at, or scoped accuracy, I guess. So it's actually pretty good, um, but I I don't think I've ever come across a weapon that has or a enemy that uses a hunting rifle that has a ported long barrel. So that is something to keep in mind that while it is a good thing to do, it is definitely not good to use or to re just rely on. It is definitely good if you are looking for a certain modification that you can't make due to gun nut being fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. It's it's a and and that's not to this is not to discredit gun nut. Gun nut as a whole is an amazing amazing perk. Um it really helps out greatly. Um but I just it's just it's just easier to help in case you're like Oh, I, I need that so bad. Well, guess what? You can get it. Um, so, yeah, you can... It'd be, it'd be best to, like, keep... Like, like I mentioned before, it's good to keep mental note as to what you're looking for. Just so that way, in case enemies have what you're looking for, it'll be, it'll be fine. Um, I'm trying to think what else goes along with Frankenstein. Yes. So, with Frankensteining, there is a slight problem with this. And that is that removing modifications from weapons, some of them do cost, um, junk, or whatever it is. Um, so my advice would be, um, but I feel like the best part of... Frankensteining is that you could easily get um, the modification instead of just crafting it by finding it and then breaking it down from the modification into itself. Um, so that way you can remove the modification at a lot cheaper price of crafting materials than if you just craft the actual thing itself. Sorry if it seemed sound like I was going nowhere. Um, I blanked out for a few seconds. I'm I'm sorry. Um I have to rewatch this video and make sure that it's a good one. Um so yeah, so the reason so that's pretty much it. Um I Frankensteining is pretty straightforward. It is one I highly advise doing. I actually did this with a Miniman character I did once. Um a lot of the good looking modifications for the handmade rifle are all commando but I was using, as my Miniman General, I was using a uh, Fudge Muppets Miniman General build. And that uses Rifleman and Big Leagues. So that means I could have all of the possible modifications except the Commandos, the Commando ones. Which sucks because the Commando modifications look sick. So, I was, I had the Problem Solver which uses like a shovel handle and just basic like level 1 gear which later on I modified to to max rifleman stuff because that's what I was using but I used the commando on the stock the muzzle and the barrel um because the commando stock looks amazing the commando barrel looks amazing and I needed something for recoil um so and commando is the only one that has that commando is the only one that uses a recoils or muzzles or compensators or whatnot so something like that was really dumb so i had so i had planned on just eliminating all of the raiders which i did anyways um so i know that i knew that at least i would get a a compensator um so that's what I did. I got a compensator and a muzzle, but I was like, you know, what about, what about the, so I had the muzzle, right? Now I needed the barrel and the stock. Um, the pack is definitely good with having this stuff because they use a lot of commando stuff. Um, pack uses commando, um, operators use riflemen, and then in this case, the, Disciples would use big leagues. 
So you could, even though a lot of them use weapons as well, but, I mean, they have the Disciples Blade, so, whatever. Um, so yeah, so it was very easy to find the stuff I needed. Max, which, which was like Max, whatever. Um, uh, Max Commando stuff, and then Max, and a Commando stock. Which, by the way, I found that, I found, of all of the weapons I had looted from the pack... Only one weapon had the commando stock. It was BS as all fuck. Um, but whatever, at least I had it. Um, but otherwise, um, I had the max, um, I had the max receiver for rifleman, and I did have the fast reload for rifleman also because. I'm not about to use a drum magazine because that uses up a lot of ammunition. A lot more than the medium magazine. Because that's what I like. I like mediums across the board. So, um... So, yeah. So, that is how Frankenstein came into play. Um... And it, and it really helps. Um, I didn't need Commando at all. All I needed was the mod. And then I just added it to the problem solver. And then boom. So that, this is a long video for something that's really short. So yeah. So the reason I will. So that's the end of the Frankenstein explanation stuff. So I kind of want to go into why I'm making this. So the reason I'm making this is like I mentioned before. Um, I recently started playing Fallout 4 again. After my... Um, era of playing nothing but cyberpunk, um, which I still love the game is still the best game of all time, but with that, um, I kind of, I kind of forgotten how to play Fallout 4. Um, I wouldn't, a lot, a lot of the times I would try to open up the, the map of cyberpunk and then I'd ended up, uh, bringing out my weapon when I didn't need, whenever I shouldn't have, so... So yeah, there's there's that. Um, but yeah, this this game is really fun. I I forgot how fun um, Fallout is. Fallout Four is. Um, and and I it kind of felt like I was starting from the beginning. You know, like oh the bomb dropped. Oh no, my husband. Because I've played as a female two times already. I have like two separate characters. Both of them are female because. That's my go-to. My go-to with Cyberpunk is male. It was female, but then um, I got addicted to Pan Am, so there's that. And then in this, it's just female because genders don't really matter for romancing. So there's, there's that. Um, so yeah, and it just felt really nice to be back in, but then after a while, I kind of... I kind of had to retrain myself certain stuff. Um, I kind of had to learn, relearn some of my tricks. I had to remember some of the tricks that I had. Not my tricks, but um, as far as I know, I'm. I don't know any other people who talk about this stuff. So, yeah. Um, so with that, another thing I want to mention. I have an idea for a build in progress, so be on the lookout for that. I need to, I need to change it because with my commando character, it was kind of just like here's all the stuff from level one to level fifty, um, or level two to level fifty. What I kind of want to do is I kind of want to do it instead of doing it in the style of Fudge Muppet where they go from level two to level fifty. I kind of want to do it in the style of Bat Company Sarge where he just gives you all of the um, ma the, the perks and whatnot, um, as well as armor, but this, but this one in particular has two different play styles, depending on which one you like, I'm not gonna say what they are, um, but just know I am working on it, um, so yeah, um, there were, there were a few stuff I forgot, such as, I used to know, like, on the, with, the back of my hand, um, where tales of the tales of a junk town jerky of a yeah junk tales of of a junk town jerky vendor, um, magazines were where all of the um, U.S. covert operations were where 
a lot of these magazines were at, but I completely forgot, so I had to go through, um, the Fallout Wiki to do so, um, So, yeah, um, that is, that's pretty much it. Um, I can't really think of anything else. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, and if you guys, and, if, and of course, if you guys want more um, videos, let me know. Either, by either hitting that like button, or let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Because I'll be more than happy to talk about it. Because, um, if you guys look through my, is this? Is this my mouth information? Yeah, this is this is my mouth information. Weird. Um, don't don't ask. Don't ask what that was about. Um, if you guys if you guys want more information um as to Fallout Four stuff, let me know what what you want me to talk about. Cause if you check this channel, the two most discussed topics on this channel, aside from just me as a whole and discussions, is Fallout 4 or the Fallout franchise and Cyberpunk. So those are two games I really enjoy talking about. Um Yeah. Which you would think since Horizon Zero Dawn is my favorite game, not counting Cyberpunk, before Cyberpunk. In fact, even before Cyberpunk, Horizon Zero Dawn was like my all-time favorite game. So you would think I'd talk about that more, but there's nothing a whole lot to talk about. It's just not to not to say it's not interesting. It's just to me there isn't a whole lot to talk about it that other people could talk about also. Um, so yeah, so um, l let me know if there's anything in particular you guys want to talk about. I'm not gonna go over locations of weapons because I I talk. I don't show. Um, if that makes sense. Um, I do plan on talking about some of the magazines, where to find them, what they do, which one's useful, how they're useful, um, as well as some other, like, essential magazines. Um, if you want, I could go over perks, talk about them, um, just whatever you guys want. Let me know in the comment section down below exactly what it is you want to talk about. What, what you want me to talk about because I will do that. I also have an idea to talk about companions, their perks, um, and, and, and kind of when it comes to like their likes and dislikes, um, what type of character you should play as to, that, that could greatly benefit a romance, romance, romanceable option for those if it's possible. If you guys want a romance, which I, I highly advise you do for other reasons. Um, for a really good reason, which I'm not going to talk about here because that is, I might as well make another video talking about that. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I've gone on way too long. Um, if you guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below exactly what you guys want me to talk about. Um, I do have another idea planned, so, um, another one's going to be made anyways, so, so yeah, um, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, it really helps out this channel, I, and I greatly, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you uh, do hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I just spit, whatever. Um, because I don't have a schedule, and um, you guys would be notified as to when I upload, whenever I do. Um, anyways, lose the manic out.